Hi everyone, it's Justine. The Met Gala just took place in New York. It's a yearly gala with the motto, making it, I think, the most interesting red carpet event to review. Usually, because the event has reached such a large level of press coverage, the guests typically try to outdo each other, making the entire experience a performance. I review this gala every year, not to this, but rather to assess which outfits were truly in line with the theme and really creative design-wise. That's what this video is about today. With that in mind, let's look at the theme, the hosts, and then the guest outfits. The theme was in honor of Carl. Some years, the theme is a little bit ambiguous or leaves room for interpretation. Not this year, <laughs> it couldn't be any clearer. <laughs> My first reaction was, it's pretty basic, very straightforward. The Met Gala has polarized in the past, but this feels very apolitical, not polarizing, pretty safe, to put it that way. Okay, so what is Karl Lagerfeld's legacy? You know him as a creative director of Chanel, but do you know that he was also the design head of Fendi and his own label, Karl Lagerfeld, at the same time? And before that, he designed for Chloé, Jean Patou, and Pierre Balmain. But my guess here is the guests will either wear one of Lagerfeld's designs, preferably his most recognizable outfits, or they will wear another designer but using the codes that Lagerfeld is associated with, typically the color palettes, the shapes, the design details, etc. Then the hosts. Anna Wintour, who is the editor-in-chief of American Vogue, is the host, like the, the big boss, always, because she's the curator of the Costume Institute. This gala is at the benefit of. So far, so good. And then in recent years, she has added further co-hosts next to her for increased press coverage. This year, it's Penelope Cruz, Michaela Cole, Roger Federer, and Dua Lipa, aka celebrities, A-listers from the movie, sports, and music industries, who each come with their social media following. Notice that Dua Lipa's dress is a vintage Chanel design bridal tweed gown that was first worn by Claudia Schiffer in 1992. So that's a statement from the archive right here from the get-go. And that brings us to the guests' outfits. Just like Dua Lipa, there are guests who chose to wear a Lagerfeld design. Nicole Kidman wore a vintage Chanel gown, which you might recognize from the iconic Chanel number no. 5 ad, staring <laughs> Nicole Kidman, that's right. <laughs> Naomi Campbell wore a vintage Chanel couture gown from the spring-summer 2010 runway. Notice how the jewelry matches the silver embellishments on the bodies, extremely refined. I love this one. Giselle Bündchen wore sequins and feathers, classic elements at Chanel couture shows. Kristen Stewart wore Chanel suits. She's been the face of the brand for years and also a personal muse of Lagerfeld. I like that she went for a boyish look, which suits her gamin type as well. Some guests went and dig deeper into Karl Lagerfeld's career as a designer. Vanessa Kirby wore vintage Chloe, a dress by Lagerfeld that has become iconic, which was designed for the full winter 1983 runway. Kate Moss wore a recent Fendi nightgown, but it's so the kind of look she would wear and model for Lagerfeld in the 90s. Delphina Deletres, the daughter of Sylvia Fendi, who's next to her, wore a Fendi gown, <laughs> of course, so from mom's house, but with Lagerfeld heads all over it. Notice the matching Fendi baguette bag, clearly a unique piece. That's the advantage of owning a brand. You can make any prototype or one-off you want. Cara Delevingne, one of Carl's favorite runway models, wore a high-low dress, short at the front, longer at the back, with very dramatic sleeves. That's a design by Lagerfeld Couture in black and white, including her hair. So black and white was his favorite color combination. Alison Williams wore a Jean Patou design, a nod to Lagerfeld's early career. I like that one. Now, apart from wearing designs by Carl or by a house that he worked for, many guests opted to pay homage by using the codes Lagerfeld is associated with. Camellias, for instance, are a design detail that Lagerfeld used a lot over and over throughout all his tenure at Chanel, both on the clothes and on the accessories. As seen on model Karen Nelson, Rihanna wearing Valentino camellias and hiding her pregnant belly at the same time, Mary J. Blige in Burberry, 
Li Yuwen in Tory Burch. This one is my favorite here for how the camellias are flowing from under her gown. I think it's the most poetic interpretation I've seen that evening. Another thing that Lagerfeld took from Gabrielle Chanel and used over and over again is the pearl necklace. Carly Kloss, also pregnant, but unrelated. <laughs> Kim Kardashian in Schiaparelli. Here she's copying the infamous photo shoot she did early in her career, where she was wearing only pearls. So obvious reference, but it's a pretty design. Lizzo in Chanel. I like how the pearls are structuring her silhouette. Very nice touch. Or Serena Williams wearing Gucci and giving 1920s vibes all the way. For years, Lagerfeld himself wore only black and white, which inspired many of the guests. For instance, Lily Collins, Vera Wang, with Carl written on it, just to make sure everyone gets the reference. <laughs> Cardi B, Chen Peng Studio. She always tends to do the motto literally, like white shirt and tie like Carl, camellias on quilted fabric screaming Chanel. Very clear. And then we have Michelle Yeo, who wore a tuxedo inspired Lagerfeld couture gown. It has the black and white aesthetics, but also the men's wear touch. It's tuxedo, but it also really a ball gown. Some guests thought Chanel tweed jackets. Janelle Monet wore a deconstructed thumb brownie design with lots of volume. I actually like this one for the architectural version of a tweed jacket. Jenna Ortega wore thumb brownie as well, but with less volume. And for Anne Hathaway, Versace did tweed and safety pins, another coat of the house. But tasty, more refined. For me, it's good design here because this outfit honors Chanel while being true to the Versace aesthetics at the same time. And that wasn't easy because the houses have very little in common. And then there are many more design elements from the Chanel archive that could be used here. Feathers and black lace, see Sienna Miller in Gucci. Bows, as seen on Daisy Edgar Jones in Gucci. Embellishments, Eddie Redmayne wore a very classy McQueen suit. It's impeccably tailored, as McQueen knows how to do it. It's perfect for a gala, but elegant and tasteful. For me, one of the best gentleman looks of the evening. Some guests heard Carl and thought, Leather gloves, obviously. Ashley Park wore Michael Kors with gloves, fishnet, and chains, like Carl. Simu Liu came dressed as Carl, <laughs> with a touch of satin. This is a Versace suit, very well tailored. Kei Hui Kwan went as Carl as well, I guess, in Dior Men, and Arshur too, <laughs> wearing a suit by Bianca Saunders. You probably noticed that this year I'm not doing a one star to five star ranking. It's because I find it super complicated to rate who did the camellias or the black and white better. What I can do, however, is give you my special mentions. The outfits that are surprising, more creative based on this theme, that dig a little bit deeper into Karl Lagerfeld history, or that are just wonderfully charming, aka my personal favorites. First, Stella McCartney. She's wearing studded leggings and a puristic jacket, in the gala version, of course. But there is an archive video of Lagerfeld from the 80s or 90s, if I remember correctly. I look for that video. If I find it, I will put it in the video description for you. Have a look there. In that video, he's drawing a fashion silhouette with leggings and a very simple blazer with very clear lines. And at the time it sounded very unlikely, but while he's drawing, he's commented to the interviewer, see, this is what everybody will wear in 20 years. And indeed, that's what everybody's wearing now. And Stella McCartney would know something like this as a fashion designer herself. In fact, she even took over the creative direction at Chloe after Lagerfeld. Eva Max came as a Chanel bride, and that's a nod to every Chanel couture show ending with a bridal look, always. Always. Doja Cat came as Choupette. Choupette is Carl's cat that outlived him and now has 241,000 followers on Instagram. That is more than me. <laughs> this is an Oscar de la Renta look with 350,000 beads and a full cat face of makeup. She even replied to interview questions with meow. Jared Leto also came as a cat, but I found that one a little bit too Obvious, too close to me. Okay, now comes my leaderboard. Michaela Cole in Schiaparelli, because embellishments are at the heart of Chanel couture and know-how. And Schiaparelli, that is a couture house as well, nailed it, I think. Then Naomi Campbell in Vintage Chanel, the entire look is perfect. 
And she's one of the rare guests who wore color and a color that is perfect on her, on top of that. Anok Yai in Prabal Gurung. This molded piece almost looks like fish skin. It's absolutely amazing handwork. And it could totally have been designed by Lagerfeld himself. So I think that's also bullseye. Baz Luhrmann and Catherine Martin, his wife, for me, they're the best couple look of the evening. He has hands down the best deconstructed jacket with contrasting trimmings, but original. And she's wearing tweed in a different and creative way. Love that. This is not everyone who attended the gala, obviously. And when several people went for the exact same inspiration source, usually I showed you only one. Otherwise the video would be very long and tedious. <laughs> However, feel free to add your favorites in the comments. If you feel like I forgot an important one, obviously add it down below and I will be thankful. If you've watched until here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thumbs up if you did enjoy this review. I know many of you have been waiting for it, so thank you for your patience. I will see you soon in a new one. Until then, take care. Bye.